Hello and welcome to Tats Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this episode of the digital publishing series, I'm going to show you the Folio workflow in InDesign CC. Folios are the content that you can use to create apps and then release them on the App Store. In the previous episode, I already discussed how to set up everything to make sure that you will be able to um, send your app for review to Apple. But in this episode, I would like to focus on what you need to do in InDesign to be able to prepare a folio file. So we will look at the folio builder, the folio producer, and the Adobe content viewer. But before we do that, let's have a look at this uh, magazine that I prepared and I would like to turn it into a folio. So first of all, you can see we have two alternate layouts here, the iPad, portrait, which you can see on the left, and the iPad horizontal or landscape on the right. So we have these in one InDesign document, and that means we will be able to create a folio already from this, but to separate the content into articles, then we would need to separate our content also into separate InDesign files. Because at the moment, as you can see, if I go further down, I will be able to go uh, to the first page after the cover page, the first page in both the portrait and the landscape one. I just have to make sure I select uh, individually these uh, windows. So that's the first page and that should be already a separate article. Now at the moment I have all this in one document. So you can see that's the second page, then third page, fourth, fifth and sixth. The page five and six should be again two separate articles and I would like to divide them as well. So what I need to do in this case is to create three separate new InDesign documents. So the first one which I have at the moment should be called cover and then I should create three other article uh, documents. So I'm going to go to the file new document option and I make sure I have the digital publishing option selected and iPad set to portrait and then I'm going to choose three pages because my first article will be three pages and then everything else can stay the same. I'm just going to click on OK. So now that I have this document, I can go back to the other document and I can select these pages here, the, the three pages which I need to copy there that's actually the second, third and fourth pages and I right click on them and choose move pages. Then I'm going to choose instead of current document, untitled one, which is the one that I just created. I didn't have any name for it yet. And then I'm just going to click on OK. And if I go back to untitled one, I can delete these three pages. So I completely replace them. I don't actually need those three pages. I already have these three pages copied from the other document. Now what I need to do is to create the alternate layout. So I just click on the drop down, create alternate layout. And that will be again the iPad and that's the landscape format. So I'm just going to click on OK. And it automatically created these pages, but I'm going to replace these because I already created the design myself here in the other document. So once again, I select these three pages, right click, move pages, and once again, move it into un untitled one. I click on OK, go back, and then I can delete the first three pages from the landscape format. And then as you can see, these are much more, uh, much better layouts. I already created especially for the landscape format. So I'm going to save this document now, file save, and I'm going to call it career magazine article 01. So that's my first article. I'm going to save that. And then I have to do the same thing with the other two articles, but just to make everything a bit faster, I am going to select those two pages, so these two, and uh, simply copy them or move them. So I'm going to choose move pages and I'm going to move it in the article one document and go there. 
I can see they are already there. I just need to drag them into uh, their position. So the portrait should be in the portrait, landscape in the landscape. And then I can select the pages I don't need. Just delete them quickly. And then I save this again. I'll make sure that this is called iPad, iPad V. So I can save this, but not save into the same file. I'm going to save it as article number two. So that's saved as well. And then I go back again here and I'm going to select the last two pages. So these two, the six pages, and I'm going to choose again, move and put it into the other document and then go there. And once again, just move them into position, delete the ones I don't need. And then I can save this as well. Once again, file save as and article three. So that's all saved. And now I can go back to the magazine where I can delete everything apart from the covers. So I just select them and delete all of these pages. And I'm going to rename this file, um, uh, the cover. So this is going to be my cover. So I choose file save as, and I'm going to call this magazine cover. So now that we have these three documents, let me just open them quickly. So we have article one after the cover, then we have article number two, and we have article number three. So this is the way you should set up your magazine. So separate the articles into separate InDesign documents. And uh, even the, the cover image should be a separate uh, article. And then when you are ready with all of these, then you can start using uh, the following panels. I'm just going to make a bit of space here so I can show it to you. We need the Folio Builder panel. In the Folio Builder, I already have another uh, magazine I created, but this is where we can create a new one. So here at the bottom, I just simply need to click on Create New Folio. Once I select that, I can choose what format I would like to use and what should be the title of this magazine. I'm going to call it Career Magazine. So that's my uh, folio name. And orientation, I'm going to choose Portrait and Landscape Folio. So it's a dual orientation I'm going to use here. Now for the cover preview, we can already put images here if we want to. And we can also choose to have this set up as an offline folio, which is very useful feature if you want to um, just quickly uh, test your folio before you upload it to the cloud, to Adobe's cloud. So it will be faster when you are testing it. But once it's ready, you can always turn an offline folio into an online folio. In my case, I'm just going to simply uh, use uh, the online folio from the beginning. So I don't check the offline folio and I'm just going to click on OK. So once I created this, I can see this is my carrier magazine folio. And now I can put the articles in here. So I can click on this little icon here at the bottom and choose add open in design document. So I'm going to click on that. Just simply call it cover and then I'm going to click on OK. So I already created the first part. And once it's ready, we can select article number one. Once again, we have to do the same thing. Add open InDesign document, give it a name, article one. And then I just click on OK. So once again, that will be my second article. So first one was the cover. This is going to be the second one. And then I have to keep on doing the same thing until I have all three articles imported into my folio file inside the folio builder panel. So once we have everything imported, we should see all of our articles and we can always move them up and down so we can change their order very easily by just simply dragging them up and down. But then we can actually preview our content by clicking on the preview here at the bottom, we will be able to open the Adobe Content Viewer, which will work just like an iPad, where we can have a look at the article. 
Now, if we are not in an article, but in, a f in the folio builder main uh, view, where we can see the whole folio, we can also test that. So we can click on preview and choose preview on desktop, which will open uh, the content viewer again, the Adobe content viewer, and it will give us uh, the uh, cover image. And then we can drag to the first article. Then we can drag to the second article and then the third one. Now, if I want to uh, go to the second and third pages of the first article, I have to scroll down. So that's the navigation, that's the way it works. Scrolling up and down is to go uh, or switch between the pages of an article or within an article. And between articles, we drag right and left. So it's already set up very nicely. And here in the Adobe Content Viewer, we can also change our view from landscape to portrait. So I can choose that and we can also make sure it's fit to screen. So uh, now with this smaller resolution screen, we can also see it properly. So I can see again my first article. We can go up and down and we can go to the right. And once again, let's have a look at the landscape format. Again, we can see how it looks. And of course, if you have an iPad connected to your computer, then you can also test it already directly from InDesign, the uh, folio itself on your iPad. And it's the same way you do the uh, preview. You just click on preview. And once there is an iPad connected, it will say preview on iPad. Now, once you get to this stage and you are happy with your folio, you can click on the drop down in the folio builder and then choose folio producer. This will open uh, your browser and you will get uh, the digital publishing suite dashboard. You have to make sure you are logged in both in InDesign and in uh, the digital publishing suite dashboard as well. I just show you in InDesign, this little circle here uh, represents that you are signed in and you can check uh, how you are signed in. So you have to make sure you are signed in with the same account in both uh, the dashboard and on in inside InDesign. And once we are in the dashboard, we can choose Folio Producer which will open up and it will show us our magazines or our folios. So there's my career magazine and we can click on open to have a look at its contents and also add more information like title uh, for the cover, byline, kicker, description, tags and so many other options here. So once you have a folio here and you add all the necessary information, you can then publish your folio and this will create the folio file which then you can take further and uh, send to Apple. I'm going to talk about that part of the whole workflow after we discuss all the overlay options which I'm going to go through in the following episodes because we have to also have a closer look at the folio overlays panel in which we have all the interactive features that we can add into our folio files, like hyperlinks, slideshows, image sequences, audio and video files, panorama, web content, pan and zoom, and scrollable frames. So if you want to learn more about how to create iPad apps within InDesign CC, make sure you join me next time as well here on Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.